Hello Marvel Heroes fans, let's talk about Stash today. There are a lot of events happening and with all these great events come great loots and uh, I've got a lot of loots I have to go through every day and my wife as well and yesterday I spent a couple of hours, about four hours going through my, uh, helping my wife to go through her Stash and uh, it was a very painful experience because uh, she basically up to the limit of like, you know, I just give up on this game, you know, whatever it is, I just throw it away. Uh, it, it's real, it's true case. So I, you know, after, after I went through the whole process with her, I thought maybe I jot down some of these notes and uh, to share with you uh, when I go through a stash and so on. Uh, that may help you as well because you know you may be facing some of this like uh, stash nightmare or uh, things that you need to constantly go through while you want to play the game but you can't really play the game kind of thing you know uh, so I'm here to help you out here uh, there are two, two case studies I'm going to go through on two extremes you can guess me and my wife um, I would like to also help you change the way you see stash as it is there are specific areas that I'd like to cover the credit, cybernetic, hero and any hero unique, team up gear, rings, costume core, runes and power cubes, a lot of areas. Now I hope that um, that should cover a big chunk of loots that you constantly have to think through on your on your minute second by second basis. All right, and also I like to talk about what to keep as well because there are some good items in this game that I think you know you should uh, keep them if you can if you have the stash. All right. So, uh, let's talk about my wife's in cup. Now, she, she loved playing this game. You know that. You guys know that because uh, you know, some of you have been following my heroes. Uh, she only has two active level 60 heroes, uh, Rocket Raccoon as well as Hulk. She has a couple of other 60 as well, like Thor, Thing, and, um, and, uh, and Hawkeye. And uh, the, the two are still at the level one. So, now, you know, this is a true story. She actually struggles so much, so much on playing this game in terms of the stash and you know whatnot that um she just you know just at the point at the limit whereby you know you know what whatever gear whatnot i'm not going to throw through any i'm going to share everything away so you know i was looking through the stash and i was thinking of having her to uh to use the new team up gear and i found none zero there's none and she me she has been playing with me for for quite some time how can it possibly be then i asked her why what happened to all this team up 2.0 gear she said she just threw it away i mean you know there's there's no way she can comprehend what's going to happen uh, and it's really sad because you know um, you want to play this game to 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 improve the hero to make it better but uh, in the end because of all this weight you know uh, the burden on going through the inventory on a on a on daily basis on a on a on a by the second basis, you just give up. So, I mean, she, she's not really one of those that are uh, not spending at all in this game. She has nine stash, two crafting stash, as well as one, one hero stash. So, in short, she has spent money in this game, um, like some of you do. And there's a total of 666 inventory space. Still not enough, right? And uh, let's talk about me. I've, uh, I've, I play all heroes. You guys know it. Uh, I've got a recent video on the, uh, what's on my stash. And you can see that... Um, I have tons of stash, 18 stash, 47 hero stash, 6 crafting stash, a total of 3.5k inventory space. And you see that mostly everything is full. And, the, um, and you know, I, I spend hours, really hours every week just to manage the inventory. And it's really painful because in other games like Diablo 3, I spend hours playing the auction house. Uh, or yeah, I mean, uh, or, or World of Warcraft. I spent hours just going through the inventory, dumping stuff in the auction house. And in this game, I thought, wow, great stuff. I don't need to worry about all these auction house and whatnot. Guess what? I still need to go through hours just to go through all my inventory to see what to keep, what to trash. And yeah, yeah, I mean, it comes to a point where I just, you know, even with all this Odin rotation going on, I just stopped playing the game. I say, okay, look, I, I need to really step back and to think through what should I be keeping what should I not? It's just to clear some space, you know, you feel a lot lifted, a lot of freedom after you've done it. And, and my wife actually feel really happy right now and she really want to play a game again, uh, to seriously play a game, collect some item, you know, now that she knows what to do. So I hope I'm sharing with you this. And the, uh, and yeah, I mean, no, something needs to be done. And uh, throughout the day, I've been jotting down the ideas on the notes while doing housekeeping, house cleaning, sorry, uh, you know, real house cleaning in this house. So I, I was just writing down what needs to be done, what not. And, uh, and I thought, well, you know, you know, if it is useful for me and my wife, probably it could be useful for you too. That's why I'd like to share with you the 10 tips here that, um, that will help you through all your stash nightmare. All right. Um, so the, but the very first thing you would like to ask yourself is what's your game, right? Because um, 
not all of us are completionist. Not all of us are into opening, unlocking all the heroes out there. There are 48 heroes, one new hero every month. And there are like team up coming up as well. Uh, more, more likely in like maybe uh, one or two uh, months, there's one team up. So there's a whole lot of heroes, a whole lot of team up, a lot of things to play in this game. So you've got to ask yourself, what's the game, right? Uh, do, are you the type that's going to play a lot of heroes? Or are you the type that's going to use this game as something to relax your mind? Uh, just a handful of heroes and you like to make the best you can do with all these heroes? Because that is the question uh, that's going to drive some of your decisions or what to keep or the trash, all right? Um, the stash philosophy I'd like to share with you is that, um, you know, we, we, we should, the way that we see stash should be this way. We should store only to benefit the future. Um, so, for instance, if you are storing 100 rings, then, um, you know, probably the question to ask yourself is that, are you going to play 100 heroes in, in the next couple of months? The answer is no. So why are you keeping so many rings, for example? Or you are keeping a lot of team insignia as well, like I do. So you've got to ask yourself, like, what's the game? If I, if I only unlock, like, maybe a handful of heroes, do I really need to have that many uh, rings and whatnot, although they, they look really nice, right? Some of the gears are very nice, but are you, are you going to keep, how many of them going to keep depends on what's the game. So um, permanent storage is, is expensive. So whatever you store that you are unsure of what to do with it, right? Um, you have to really ask yourself, you know, how, what's the game? How many these sort of items should I be keeping? Temporary storage is okay because sometimes when you play the game, there's a rotation going on on the uh, cosmic terminal. You just you know keep all these items first, and you go through it later, go through the stats later, whatnot. So um, you know you, you can park all these items aside. I do that too, but uh, you know we human tend to procrastinate, and um, and, and eventually we will say, wow, you know I'm having all this gear. What what to do with it? So I say temporary storage is okay, but uh, do have the discipline to work through that periodically. Otherwise, you keep buying stash. And as you, as you see in my case, even as I buy new stash area, it's not going to help me because I will just keep hoarding uh, the more space I have. All right. So the next thing is that uh, always constantly update, upgrade your existing rooster, uh, roster because you know, you have all this, maybe you are playing all these 30 heroes, 40 heroes, and whatnot, or even 10 or 5, doesn't matter. As, and when you get better gear, you look through your current uh, roster and say, yeah, maybe I should just upgrade among them, right? And the, uh, for some of them that say, well, you know, maybe I want to keep a few that is for the future, but I know that I'm going to play maybe uh, uh, at most 5 more heroes, so I keep uh, at most a couple of them, right? So the rest of it, just constantly upgrade your existing uh, heroes and team up. And, uh, and after, after you've done so and say, okay, you know, all my heroes and team up are pretty strong. So the next thing is that you should constantly upgrade your stash quality. Uh, instead of just uh, keeping all these uh, items on your stash, uh, go through with them, just filter them out. Things that are not that great anymore, critically ask yourself, do you want to keep it? If not, just constantly trash it, all right? So I hope that gives you an idea as in like, you know, uh, your, your philosophy, the way that you should see stash as it is. Now, Gazillion sell stash, nothing wrong with that. It is a free to play game, but it's not entirely free because, um, you know, they do have to make money. They have all this server, they have all this designer, artist, so on. No one works for free. You and I don't work for free, right? So um, I played this game for two years. I've seen the trends of it. They always create a lot of new loot type, like for instance, runes uh, that is over 50 different types of items for you to collect. And all this is up a lot of stash. They always do that. Uh, so what they always do is this, right? Uh, they would bring the game difficulty to much higher, uh, like the Cosmic Terminal or term Cosmic Patrol, and then they push a whole chunk of other gears out for you to collect to make, your, make yourself feel more powerful. And then, I bet you, very soon to come, suddenly everything become more difficult again, and after that they release another set of new gears for you to collect so that you feel more powerful. They keep feeding you, they're kind of like, you know, you, you are, you're always hunger for power, right? So uh, they play upon that for two years really well. I've seen it all, all the time. And then there's always these events whereby, you know, a lot of people think that this anniversary event is uh, lackluster or not that exciting. I know exactly what they're doing, right? It is all this like a starvation kind of like a concept. They starve you and you think that, well, the game is not that great. You know, I still play it because I want to do some dailies, collect some commendation, but I, I want the game to be better. I want the game to collect gear. And suddenly, all of a sudden, Big Ten, flush it out and you've got tons of gear to collect. Suddenly you go crazy, right? Because you have been starving for so long. You really want gear and the gear are all there for your taking. Guess what? You keep them, you hoard them. And then 
they sell two more new stash. And they always do that, right? Whenever they come up with a huge event, they sell you extra stash. And then huge event, extra stash. Because each stash is five US dollar, right? Uh, not to criticize Gazillion because it is revenue for them. I do want them to make money, right? In every way they can because this game is great. This game is fantastic. But how do you and I going to enjoy this game with them and it loots to sort through? Because even with me, my cup stash, 3.5k stash, is still not enough uh, to, to keep all these items because, you know, because we just don't have the mental capacity anymore to process that many types of event items or types of new items, old items. So, I mean, it is time for like really to think through and say, okay, step back, right? What are the things I should do? Uh, to, to help me enjoy the game, all right? So something that can help me and my wife, I thought I'm gonna share with you, all right? So tip one is about credit. Um, my wife has been having this three million uh, cap for a very long time, for months. And it is good and bad in many ways. First of all, credit may not be relevant to you anymore because you're at the max. But then there are actually many things you could have done to use a credit. Uh, because when you trash items, you want to feel good trashing it, right? So. You don't want to trash an item when there's no return. So, to me, trashing item is a motivation. It has to, be, has to become a motivation for you to trash items. So, you would like to say, yeah, I want to trash stuff. Why? Because they are credit. But when you add the credit uh, cap, how are you going to enjoy the kind of like, you know, motivation to trash items? You can't, right? So, my, my advice to you is that uh, don't hoard the credit. Use it. You have 3 million cap there. Um, use it to re-roll your artifacts. Some of the artifacts you really like, you spend million, one or two million just re-rolling it, um, you know, because there's a lot of uh, unstable molecule anyway. You may stack up and hoard a lot of those as well. Cosma fixes, um, get 90%, get 95%, get even 100%. Some people do that uh, to make your costume uh, fixes better. Re-roll it, maybe put aside, say, two million, uh, spend half an hour just to burn them all. Uh, get the really nice uh, fixes. If you have a new costume, get a different set. You get one for health, one for crit damage rating, or crit for summoner. Do it, right? And they are for the unique that you have, uh, for those hero, any hero unique, those that you can't really farm efficiently, reroll it. Just throw the credit away. It doesn't really matter. Don't hoard it, right? So remember, the moment you have a room to the 3 million cap, you are motivated to, to trash again because when you trash, you get credit. You are being rewarded in the game for trashing items. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is that always, uh, for new players, well, always turn on your cybernetic um, uh, vaporization. You can vaporize, loot, and level up your pets. And if the pets are already at the max rank, it will translate to credit for you, which is, I think, one hundredth of the value of the item. So you can, you can decide. What kind of quality you want to vaporize? If you are leveling a hero, you may want to vaporize only the rare or you know whatnot. But when you're at end game, like you and I, uh, then you want to vaporize everything at cosmic. Don't need, to, don't even need to think about it. Don't even need to go through with it. Everything just gone, disappeared. That's good news. The not so good news is things like rings, things like team insignia, things like pet gear. Those cannot be vaporized. And I, I probably need to write into their forum and ask them to vaporize that as well because. You know, who is, who is going to really look through a green or, or blue team item, right? Or insignia, team up item. I mean, no one does that. Ring. No one does it. Not even a cosmic ring, right? Seriously. So they should just vaporize all this stuff. Um, and then uh, get two of your free pets uh, and roll, roll, roll their fixes. So there are ways to get pets in this game that's free. All right? There are actually many ways, a few ways. All right? The first way is that um, as you play the game, you collect uh, Eternal Splinter. And when you collect enough Splinter, 300 of them, I think, you can uh, exchange for a pet called Old Lace. 300 of them, I think. Uh, talk to Adam in, in the hub and then uh, exchange for it. Free pet. All right? uh, the second one is that as you complete the influence quest in Hammer Bay, the hub, uh, do it daily. A couple of weeks later, you have uh, once you become legend with them, like a reputation system, uh, you could buy a pet using credit. So do it. So you have two free pets. Two is everything you need for. Uh, you could go for more if you play this game more. But to me, I just settle with two. One for summoner on the on, on the one that is on the uh, left, uh, not on the right. And then after that, on the left is the summoner. I don't know left and right because it's very hard. 
Uh, I don't know how the video goes, but yeah, I mean, one for summoner and one for non summoner. All the affixes, the max one is listed below. Go for these affixes, just keep re rolling, keep, keep re rolling, -ro -re spending your unique to re roll all the, all the uh, other plus three intelligence of plus three for fighting. Uh, do you want to re roll for other pets? Up to you. If you want to collect plus three strength, which I don't use, or plus three energy, which I don't use, up to you. Alright, so that is something that um, uh, you could waste a lot of unique just to get the, um, the, the last ramp. But, uh, you know, once you get the two pads, actually the, the hardest one for me is to roll the yellow and the uh, purple uh, rank. The green one, blue one, and the unique one is the easiest one. So just to get two, two pads, do it. Okay, tip three. Uh, unique. Unique is, uh, it becomes like a major problem in this game. Major is so many unique to go through. At the end of the day, I came to a point where I don't even bother with some of these unique anymore. It doesn't matter whether they're good or not. I, I just don't bother anymore. So, um, so when you have surplus unique, roll the pet affixes. But when you have two pets like I am or like my wife does, then you may want to have four hero unique to exchange the relics if that is your cup of tea because or credit. Um, why? Because uh, hero unique is relatively easy to come by because as you play the hero these days a lot of hero unique and you can uh, you know the turnover is very fast you don't need too many stash space uh, for you to maintain that kind of like a mini game right uh, if you found some hero unique that's not in your roster uh, those that like for instance you don't play emma frost and suddenly you see emma frost uh, uh, unique gear trash them don't need to think about it just sell it away if there are any hero you need their boss one now how do you tell whether it's a boss one or not it's a bit hard but uh, you know I, I don't know whether they're going to change the system or not but for all the boss specific unique usually there's a plus two power at the last rank of it those are really the boss one so uh, do check out some of these like website like marvelheroes.info uh, uh, there's a lot of unique listed there you can check for those boss specific one uh, my recommendation is to keep some of those and uh, but after a while you learn what to keep what not to keep so i don't want to you know go through that list in this video i want to give you at least a big picture here um as for the any hero unique uh, you either trash them or you exchange for unique if you have a lot of uh, stash like a couple of stash you want to play this mini game of exchanging unique to 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 relax go for it otherwise you know just be free right sell it away out of sight you know don't even think about it that's fine you, you seldom use any hero you need anymore these days they they upgrade the, the hero you need to be better so you know you really don't you know it's not something that you 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 need to go through these days so yeah just trash it or exchange it don't don't hoard it all right um, I have a very specific way to organize any hero unique and uh, that may be useful to you so I'm going to share with you all right so don't laugh but this is the way that I'm going to do it I, I, I organize my unique and the, uh, so basically there are three types to me uh, one is a blast slash and slash uh, another one is bar and donut the, uh, the third one is boy part so so what what do I mean by that backslash and slash is something that uh, the unique look like all this black slash and slash so I I can very quickly know that if once I get one of this unique, I can click onto that the slot and I put it in. If I find four of them, I change them for relics. I don't need to think about what inside. I don't even need to think of look at what the affixes inside. I don't care anymore, right? But what I care is exchange for relics. I want a fast way to store them. I want a fast way to exchange them. So backslash and slash is what I always put into one stash like that, just for me to keep track of what to keep, what to throw out. Uh, bar and donut is very easy. You see a lot of those like with a circle there, like the, the circle one there, and you can see a bar there. So bar and donut also a big chunk of it. So I put all the bars of donut into one stash. And the body parts are the, are the hand, the head, the body, the legs, so the feet. So all this body part I keep in one stash as well. The idea is very simple, right? For me to very quickly put the item into the stash and for me to very quickly identify do I have four. If I have four, exchange. No I have four, keep, all right? So that is how I organize my unique stash. Um, tip 4 is about team up gear. Team up gear, there are two strategies to it. One is whether you want to have a team up that's generic to all heroes, uh, it's going to benefit all heroes, or you want a specific one. So for example, you want to keep like the uh, new Iron Man team up, uh, it, I think it's uh, uh, range as well as energy. So any range energy like Invisible Woman and blah blah blah. You know, uh, you may want to gear your team up to have all these, uh, you know, plus 3% ranged, 
plus three percent energy in your team up team up uh, gear for all this uh, specific hero. That's fine. Or you can have some generic one, like for instance, um, Agent Carlson. I'll put it as generic. Uh, for instance, like Falcon. I'll put it as generic. The uh, Fire Star also put it as generic. All right. So the the idea is this: as then when you get your team up gear, after a while, equip equip them as you collect them. Improve the quality from 1% to 2% to 3%, right? But never hoard them. Always back to the question, what's the game? Because if you do not intend to unlock many uh, team up gear, there's no point to keep that many of them. Just keep refreshing your entire collection for your existing team up and just be merry with it because you can always farm it back, always. So no point keeping it, all right? So um, an example of a generic self is like this, right? So team up gear has four slots. Uh, the communicator, defense screen, un uh, hostile unit tracker, as well as enhancer. So each one of them can become generic. So for instance, the uh, communicator, you can have uh, physical energy mental. So that will benefit all your heroes, right? Any hero that you team up with, you'll be fine. Uh, for the defense, uh, portable defense screen, you can have range and melee on that or cover, right? You can either have range or melee anyway. Uh, for the hostile unit tracker, again, the free damage type, physical, energy, mental, just get a 3% of it, be happy with it, right? Uh, biometric enhancer, uh, range and melee, that's all you need. That is all you need. Everything you need for a generic pet, go for all this configuration, the rest of it, just throw away, right? Unless you are doing specific one. So always work towards the 3% gear, and once you get the 3% gear, I mean, there's, there's nothing you can do, nothing I can do, all right? Um, the fifth tip is on the rings. Uh, rings are always equipped as you, as you collect. If you have the Midtown unique ring from the Midtown Fortune card, uh, you will take a look at the, uh, uh, the, the damage rating increase as you use movement power. And the, uh, keep all those high, high affixes like 30% or near 30%. Those are keep the rest of it like 12%, 20% 20, 20 just throw it away. Don't need to keep. Uh, Industrial City Patrol Unique Ring, level 60, you can equip them, equip them, otherwise keep a few for your next hero, those are pretty nice. Cosmic Ring, be very critical, only collect those with 4 good uh, fixes near max. So my priority is always this, right? Health and, uh, health and crit damage uh, uh, rating, those are important. And then after that, the next priority is range or melee damage, those are good. good. I don't keep anything that's area because area, man. I mean, not many heroes does pure area. Uh, and then uh, crit hit rating, brutal rating, I may keep. All right, those are quite important as well because some hero may be lacking on crit. And then uh, spirit these days, you know, you have many ways to re regenerate spirit. And brutal damage is not as great as uh, crit damage. The rest of it, you really don't want those affixes. And that will go along with the team insignia as well. Same philosophy. Always go for the. Uh, always hold the alt key, mouse over the item, see how high the the range is. Like for instance, this one is near max. Keep those things. Uh, same priority, you know. Um, Flat damage and health and you know uh, crit damage rating those sort of thing you should keep but the rest of it like you know uh, yeah you like a percentage to slow a target those are rubbish uh, just throw away uh, costume core um, I I always keep those that are twenty five percent health and hundred uh, spirit core those are very good core because I can recover spirit sustain my basic less build especially now you can use mech kit without taking damage to yourself um, secondary. Uh, a fix like invulnerable as well as live on hit, those are very nice for cosmic patrol. So if you see those pair up together, just you know, just keep. But again, ask yourself how many to keep it depends on how many hero you intend to play. Because after a while, there's no point in keeping all these things. Just keep upgrading what you have. All right. Uh, tip number eight on the runes. Um, runes is very hard to talk about because it comes as experience. I derive a way whereby all these things below are the keepers for me. Because these are the ones that I've always uh, been using, uh, or those are super rare runes. And those runes on top are very rarely used. So, you know, I, I have a way to derive, but you have to go through it yourself. But then you must know your rune words, because um, if you don't know your rune words, then you don't know which one to keep, right? So, um, always uh, level up your enchanter to rank 20. All right. So there are three rune words you can purchase from Clear. Uh, I like the Lady of the Sword the most. Uh, there are two more there. There are two from Moon Dragon, which is a cosmic power dupe as well as the uh, dupe inspiration. There are two from the Gear and Weapon Vendor, which is the uh, uh, Wealth as well as the Special Item Fine. Uh, also, there are three uh, rune words from Loki, Juggernaut, and Kingpin. Uh, those are God of Mischief. Uh, the unstoppable force as well as vice. So know your rune words and know that these are the ones that you are likely to, to, 
to, to use, then keep the runes that are um, useful for those rune words, all right? Uh, number nine is power cubes. Uh, power cube, you just have to pay attention to a couple of things. The first, first thing first, the maximum rank you ever get is 50. So you can put 20 points into a hero. Another 30 points come from the gear. But if your gear is good enough, when you hit 50, like some of my, uh, you know, Miss Marvel power, there's no point putting in a power cube there, right? So you always go for, first of all, be mindful of that. Second of all, go for the spender as well, fill up power. Those account for maybe 30% of your entire DPS, all right? Uh, entire rotation. So anything that you keep pressing, not a basic, uh, non-basic ones, uh, keep all those uh, rune words. Uh, sorry, uh, power cubes, all right? Uh, if, you sh if you love your hero a lot, then you may want to collect things like uh, damage over time or cooldown, but you know, usually those are very, not, not that significant to the larger scheme even signature, uh, some passive as well. But, you know, really, just uh, trash the rest. Uh, you only need four per hero, and you don't change your artifact that often anyway. So, you know, um, just don't keep it, man. Just, you know, throw the rest, and you can always farm it back anyway. Just keep playing the hero, farm it back, right? So the last thing is, the uh, last tip is that what, what are the things to keep? I've been talking so many things about, you know, about things that I should, you, should, you should trash, uh, so what should what should the thing you should uh, what are the thing you should keep consider keeping? Costume is something that is very hard to come by in this game. I suggest you keep some, even though for some heroes that you may or may not have in the future, never know. Some of these boss specific artifacts are all these screenshots by the way, courtesy of my wife's uh, machine. I can't really use her account to record this video. It may violate some terms of uh, service. I don't want to get myself banned, but I could ask her to take some screenshots sent to me, you know, and share with you here. So, I mean, this is what she has, and some of these like uh, very nice. Uh, 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 any hero unique and uh, from a boss so she keep and some of these are like from the artifacts from the from the bosses and ask her to keep as well some of these are event items that you're going to keep and some of these are costumes so there are still things to keep don't, don't just throw everything away uh, but I, I think to wrap it up guys um, I, I would like you to enjoy this game and I, because I also would like to enjoy this game but it's getting increasingly hard with all this loot with all this event and so on and then you always have to stress up do I want to buy another extra stash so Go through some of this uh, stuff you know, I share with you. Always think about what's the game because uh, always think about how many heroes, how many um, you know, team up you're going to unlock. You know, what are the things you're going to keep? Those that occupy a permanent space has to be useful for the future that you know, right? Because things that you don't know, forget about it. Gears always changes. A lot of things like the team up gear in the old days, everything become oscillate today, right? So all everything that you hoard before become all useless today. So only keep those that you know in the near future is going to be useful for your for your for your progress. What's the game, right? Um, and and then just. Uh, you know, go through the items and organize it and just keep trashing it, keep trashing it. Uh, and, uh, and, and you'll feel a lot more free, a lot more to enjoy your life, enjoy your game here. All right, so um, do let me know what you think about all these things, all these tips and uh, uh, whether you have other tips to share in the comment below. I know a lot of fans here like to read others, each other's comments. Uh, I, I welcome a lot of new ideas as well. So this is what I'd like to share with you. And the, uh, for those who enjoy this sort of game guides and so on, um, you know, I've got a link in this description of this uh, video uh, to my website to list out all the rest of the guides and so on. So yeah, enjoy your events and uh, good luck with your loots. Uh, till the next time we see each other, goodbye.